All right, here we go. Mark reviews stuff. Time for another unboxing. Everybody loves unboxing, because you know what? It's like Christmas. It's like getting your favorite present, something you've been waiting for. And thanks to Amazon Prime, you don't have to wait quite as long as you used to. So, all of that bubble wrap was for this thing. And I don't even know how to say this word. Kiaya. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to this thing. So you can buy it on Amazon like I did. It's one of those nesting boxes where you have to kind of slide it out like this. And the air pressure means that there's suction holding it in. I really don't want to rip it because I like nice little boxes like this. Man, it is really in there. I've done a lot of research in preparation for production on this YouTube channel. And the main thing limiting this from being the truly great channel that it will be someday is production value. So I like filming in here because these vintage maps look really cool. But lighting is always an issue. You can see how much of a shadow I have here. It's because I'm using this normal kind of stock building light above me. There's also a, a closet light back there. Could turn this lamp on and then you get some kind of weird backlighting. There's a lamp over here off camera. Um, that's a telescope. That's not a light. Anyway, I thought it was about time to do something different. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I want to invest in a really nice, really fancy, like 80 something dollar um, big professional ring light. It's 18 inches wide, and I'll put a link to that in the description too, because that's, that's what I really want someday, but for now, this is going to do the trick. 18 inch ring light that goes around the camera, and the camera shines through the middle. So if you've seen YouTube videos where people are really nice and evenly lit, and there's good diffusion behind them, it's usually one of those big ring lights. Uh, in the meantime, instead of spending $80, I spent significantly less for a smaller ring light. And this is specifically designed for cell phones, which works just fine because that is what I film with. So this comes with a, a tiny little micro USB charger. I mean, that is super short. That's not doing anybody any good. Probably use my own for that. Um, also in the box, a card that says happy. Not happy. All right. So uh, if you're not happy with the product, 100% refund on here. It's a quick little manual, which I never read. <clears throat> it says that it is compatible with mobile phones, desktop monitors that have a, a camera as well, laptops and uh, tablets. So I guess that stands to reason. It's going to be a little tricky to show you because I'm using the phone that I plan to use this on, but this is the ring light. Uh, on the back here you have a little micro USB charger. And the idea is you, you stick the lens of your camera that you're using through the hole here in the middle. And this portion lights up and casts an even light around that main um, camera shot. Wow! That is super bright. I mean, that, that is a ton of LEDs. There is no real dimmer option on here that I see. Actually, there is. Repeated clicks make it brighter and brighter. I already, okay, right now this looks like a ghost story or something, but let's stick this on the camera where it belongs. And, oh my gosh. Okay, that's maybe gonna give me problems with my glasses, but look how much better this looks already. I'll have to figure out the glasses thing. Maybe I'll get LASIK. I talked about that in another video. But this is so much better. This lighting brings the production value way up. And uh, if, if I can figure out how to get my phone to not autofocus based on the amount of light going in, as you see that back and forth, how dark that is, it compensates. I love it. This is a great temporary solution and for less than a quarter of the cost of that big ring light I was talking about. So if you are in the, in the uh, kind of situation that I was in where you need some better lighting, go look for the Kiaya. Um, I will put a link in the description. I'm thrilled with what it is for now. Um, you know, ultimately, I probably still want a bigger, better setup. It'll go a little dimmer on this. That feels a little bit better. 
but uh, you know, for what it is, I'm, I'm excited. And I'm gonna show you a quick, as I take that off, okay? So it's pretty much centered on the, on the phone's camera. I'm going into my closet right now. Feel free to make jokes about me coming out of the closet. Okay. This is with the ring light. And again, that glare on my glasses, that's, that's a problem I'm going to contend with for a long time. But look at the difference in lighting there. This is just a craft and kind of storage closet. Look at that. So it could be the middle of the night in a dark closet, and you're going to be able to see me. Look at that. That is too bright almost. And there I am. Okay. If you liked this quick unboxing, um, you know, we may just call that my review as well. Because I don't know if I'm going to do a more in-depth review of this light. Maybe I will. Uh, first things first, it's tough for users of glasses. Um, even if I was just using my normal eyes, people complain that this leaves kind of a ring reflection in there. Uh, but this is going to do a lot to improve this uh, the production value of this vlog and of this uh, review site. So if you like this, um, leave your comments in the description below. I know I'm just kind of playing with it. I'm super excited. Uh, this is the Kiaya ring light, a temporary, pretty good solution for users of mobile phones when you're making YouTube videos. Okay, that'll do it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for lots more product reviews. And uh, someday, I'll get a motion stabilizer too, so when I'm holding this, you get a, a more smooth transition. Gotta build up my forearm muscles. Alright, that'll do it. Subscribe!